Real Agriculture Soybean School is brought to you by Basic Seeds and Lollamond Plant Care. Hi, I'm Bernard Tobin. Welcome to the Soybean School. Today, we're heading to the University of Guelph to look at the impact inoculation and nitrogen fertilizer can have on soybeans. We're joined by Dr. Hugh Earle and OMAFA soybean specialist Horst Bonner as they tour a plot that compares soybeans planted with bare seed, inoculated seed, and seed that's both inoculated and has lots of available nitrogen. It really shows how inoculation plus nitrogen fertilizer can make a pretty nice soybean crop. Hugh, this is a, a beautiful example, again, of, of different nutrient deficiencies, and this is specifically a nitrogen project you've got set up here. So in Ontario, we often have fields that are pale yellow, especially in the spring, obviously, and then they come out of it. But uh, it's hard to know what nutrient that is, right? And in this experiment here, you, you're able to separate, separate out exactly what nutrients are missing. So, so what have we got here in front of us? Okay, yeah, so you're exactly right. These, these plants are growing hydroponically. They're all in the same soil. They're all getting exactly the same nutrient mix, except for the nitrogen. And there's actually nitrogen being affected in two ways here. So this is a case where uh, we've got a low concentration of nitrogen in the nutrient solution. So we know for sure the symptomology you see here, the kind of pale yellow shorter plants, yeah. it's, it's nitrogen for sure. There's nothing else going on. And, and neat, too, that it's throughout the whole plant, really, right from top to bottom. Yeah, right? it surprised me a little bit. You sometimes think of nitrogen as being progressive, like the leaves at the bottom sort of firing and it's you know, greener. Right, as you, right, right. But that's clearly not the case here. It's, it's quite uniform all the way through the canopy. Now, right beside it, that's a perfect... Um, What's the word I'm looking like for? Contrast. Contrast. Yeah. That's the word I'm looking yeah. for. Yeah. What do you got going on there? This, it's amazing to me how well this works. So um, the only difference between these two rows uh, is that the seed was bare in this case. And in this case, we had a seed applied inoculant. So go. these are nodulated soybean. Um, and you can see the really obvious difference it's had in the Doing nitrogen status of the plant. Yeah. 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 Again, low end in the soil. So obviously this plant is really leaning on the end fixation from right. the nodules, right, right. To, to provide the nitrogen. And, and, and the other neat thing is compared to the next plot, which has ample nitrogen, and water, I think. Yeah, is they, all, they all have ample water. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so, what is the difference then? Why are those beans so much better than these beans? Well, apparently, remember, there's, there are no natural rhizobia in the soil, so okay. it's just yeah. whatever we applied as the inoculant. But clearly, the amount of nitrogen that the plant can fix yeah. through that source isn't adequate to optimize the growth and yield, right? Yeah, yeah. So when you've got all kinds of nitrogen uh, in, in the soil, or in this case, in the soil right. water, it, it, it does make a difference. And, right. and we've looked, these plants are still nodulating. There's, right. there's still, yeah, you know, still rhizobia doing their, doing their thing there, but it is somewhat suppressed. So the number of nodules right. per plant is lower than in this scenario where the plant has, I guess, the incentive, right, to, right. to feed the nodules. Well, and back to maybe this part of this whole project is to try and investigate the, the nitrogen gap, right? Is there truly a, still a deficiency even if they're well nodulated? Yeah, it, it, of, in this case it, it would be, but we also have to remember maybe the soil they're in isn't quite yeah, as yeah. You know, conducive to yeah, effective fair enough. And that's why we're doing the field studies as well to try and verify, but this is yeah. a pretty nice difference here between those two. It, it is just a beautiful picture yeah, of right. how inoculant and fertilizer can, can affect right, the, right. the Awesome, crop. thanks yeah. you. Perfect. Thank you. You can find more episodes of the Soybean School by going to soybeanschool.com or finding the Real Agriculture YouTube channel.